let me solve a problem to find the Laplace of a function which is two sub-elementary functions. Example, find the Laplace of x to the 3 times e to the 3x. You see here my given function is a product of two sub-functions. These two sub-functions are elementary functions. x to the 3 is the first elementary function if you remember and e to the 3x is the second elementary function. Now I'm going to find the Laplace of the product of two elementary functions here and then later I'm going to prove that the left side equals to the right side. Solution. Since my given function is a product of two sub-functions here, one is x to the 3 and the other is e to the 3x. So let me first take x to the 3 here. We have the Laplace of x to the 3 equals to 3 factorial over s to the 3 plus 1. Remember, it is the first elementary function. I applied the first elementary function here, which is Laplace of x to the n equals to n factorial or s to the n plus 1, where my n is 3 here. So it equals to 3 factorial or s to the 4. This is my first elementary function. Now I'm going to take the second elementary function, which is the exponential function e to the 3x. Laplace of e to the 3x equals to 1 over s minus 3. I just applied the second elementary function here, which is Laplace of e to the ax equals to 1 over s minus a. My constant a is 3 here. Now the next step is very important. Just take s minus 3 from the denominator, which is the output of the second elementary function, and put for the s which is the denominator of the first elementary function. Just put s minus 3 for s here. Don't take s to the 4 to put it in s. Don't do that. Always take the denominator of the second elementary function. When I put s minus 3 for s, I have 3 factorial or s minus 3 to the 4. What I did here, I just took s minus 3 and put it here for s to become s minus 3. So always put the s with less power in the s with the greater power. That's how Laplace of x to the 3 times e to the 3x equals to 3 factorial or s minus 3 to the 4. Now I'm going to prove that the left side equals to the right side. Let me take the left side here. Can I write Laplace of x to the 3 times e to the 3x equals to integral of e to the minus sx times e to the 3x times x to the 3 dx. I just put the function f of x, which is x to the 3 times e to the 3x, in the basic formula of Laplace. From the formula of the Laplace transform, which is Laplace of f of x equals to integral of e to the minus sx times f of x dx, where a approaches to infinity here, which means that a is infinity here. My function f of x is x to the 3 times e to the 3x. Since I have the product of two functions, therefore normally we do integration by parts process here and where the common formula that we use for the integration by parts process is here. Uh, but since I have one pure algebraic term which is x to the 3, uh, so I'm going to apply the other method. Put differentiation and integration. Take the algebraic term which is x to the 3 under differentiation and take this term e to the minus x times e to the 3x under integration panel e to the minus x times e to the 3x has similar basis. Therefore, I'm going to take 1e and we'll take x common from the power. Put minus here. Derivative of x to the 3 is 3x square. Integration of e to the minus x times s minus 3 equals to minus e to the minus x times s minus 3 or s minus a. Put plus. Derivative of 3x square equals to 6x. Integration of minus e to the minus x times s minus 3 or s minus a equals to e to the minus x times s minus 3 or s minus a to the 2. Put minus derivative of 6x is 6 and integration of e to the minus x times s minus 3 or s minus a to the 2 equals to minus e to the minus x times s minus 3 or s minus a to the 3. Derivative of 6 is 0 and integration of minus e to the minus x times s minus 3 or s minus a to the 3 equals to e to the minus x times s minus 3 or s minus a to the 4. Put minus here. I'm going to stop the process here because I got 0 for the differentiation side. Now take the cross product here between these terms to have the value for this equation. 
Now expand the limits here. My limits are 0 and a, where all these terms will be 0. Look to the equation above. a approaches to infinity, which means that a is infinity here. So whenever you have the product of infinity, it becomes 0. Similarly, these three terms will be 0, because they are the product of 0. So I only left with this term where e to the 0 times s minus 3 will be e to the 0 where my final value equals to 6 or s minus a to the 4. Hence, Laplace of x to the 3 times e to the 3x equals to 6 or s minus a to the 4. That's all left-hand side equals to the right-hand side. So I have proved that the left side equals to the right side. Hence, the product of these two elementary functions is verified.